Hi everyone, this series of answers is actually from questions from the students of 6K at the Fort McMurray Islamic School and they asked a ton of amazing questions so we're actually going to split the questions into a few series of answers just so the video isn't such a long clip. So I just want to say thank you so much to these students for being involved and reaching out to me through email. I'm really excited to be given this opportunity to engage with you and I hope you like my answers and keep in touch through social media, Instagram, that kind of thing. I would love to keep in contact with you and see if you're happy with what I've been doing. Why are you running for municipal council? I think in the 2013 general election I kind of noticed that there was a lack of um, representation. So people that seem to think outside of the box a little bit different and I think I call to that. So I'll, that's really what encouraged me to run in the 2013 general election. I thought it was time for a change. And just being given the opportunity to do it now before 2017 was really exciting for me. So that's basically why I'm running. I think I do things a little differently. I like to reach out to um, the residents of the regional municipality of Wood Buffalo through things like Ask Veronica, these YouTube segments. I'm fairly active on social media. I do things like putting ads at the movie theater and my signs even encourage people to participate. So I'm really going for that. How do we get the younger people in Fort McMurray, the people who are looking something for something different, how do we get them engaged in municipal politics? And I think I bring that to the table. If you are a teacher, how do you have time to be a counselor? That's a really interesting question. So being a counselor is actually considered a part-time kind of job. And I know being a teacher is full-time employment and we actually do a lot of things after hours, but I really think it's about balance. So um, I'm really great at time management. I have served on the board of directors at the Boys and Girls Club for the past eight years. I just recently left that position. So um, I have a lot of experience with attending meetings, going to community events and Actually, another important part of it is taking time for yourself. So I'm passionate about volleyball, so I still make sure I do my rec team on Monday nights. And I really enjoy yoga, so taking time at least once a week to have a bit of that self-care. I think if I keep those in mind, I'll be able to balance this. Um, I'm a really fast reader, and I really enjoy looking at kind of financial documents and reading through policies and procedures. As some people might not find that interesting, it's something I really enjoy. Um, so those are some of the things that make me think that I'll be good at balancing those two positions. What are some ideas you have in mind if you become a counselor? One of the things I kind of put in my platform, and this was from the 2013 general election, and I still see it as a need, is communication. So ensuring that the communication between myself and residents is constantly open. So a few of my ideas are keeping Ask Veronica open, so giving residents the chance to ask me questions about um, decisions I made on council, maybe community events and com uh, committees I'm a part of, and just really keeping that open. Uh, I will continue to be active on social media. I actually started a blog on my website about the different events I go to, so all of those kind of things I would continue to be a part of. And I think that speaks a lot because that's one thing as a resident before this election happened I saw lacking is that I didn't understand what was going on in council and to understand I had to go through meeting minutes, deal with technical issues and really I should be able to go on one of the counselors websites in my opinion that I think should still be up and running and kind of see what their view is on some of the current situations in our region. What will you include in your speech? So when you say speech, I'm thinking about that maybe you're referring to forums or debates where I get the a few minutes beforehand to kind of introduce myself. So what I would talk about during that is my three platform points. So the first one being communication, which I touched in an earlier question. So continuing things like Ask Veronica so that residents can contact me about council decisions, why I voted certain ways. Um, community events I've been attending or issues I see up and coming. I'd like to continue that. I would still be active on Twitter. I would keep my phone activated so that people could feel free to contact me at any time. Um, the second area is business development. So what I want to see for Fort McMurray, what I envision, is a future where um, the local flavor thrives so that we're not just a bunch of box stores or name brand stores. We have actual local places that have been built up by our local entrepreneurs where they had a business plan that was sound and they have the opportunity to fi find the right location. So I don't want someone to just go, oh my gosh, there's office space, I'm going to put my shop there. They get to actually say, there are options for me and that location is going to be the best one where my business can survive and 
be successful in the best way and for the longest amount of time. The final area is family needs. So looking at um, prenatal care, um, birthing options for families so that they're not always just you have um, a baby in a hospital. There should be options like you get to look at into midwives. There should possibly be a birthing center somewhere in town. Or if there are options safe, people should be able to have a baby at home if that option is available to them with the right medical um, expertise available. Uh, I want to see more early learning programs around town, so the space being available for that licensed child care facilities opening up, including licensed day homes. We need more support for that. Uh, youth programming could be expanded and actually diversified throughout town. A lot of it is focused in the downtown core and you guys don't all live downtown. We need to find ways to engage you in other areas of town as well. And finally, looking at when um, our family members get a bit older and they need a bit more care, looking into things like the continuing care facilities that are currently la lacking and how we're going to make it so that families from birth to old age feel supported and welcome to stay in Fort McMurray so families are able to stay together. Will you get paid if you win? Yes, all city councillors get, um, I guess, a salary, if you want to call it that, yeah. Um, it's a, I think it's around $33,000, and half of that is untaxed. So there is a, a, I don't know how to say it, I guess kind of a perk to it, like you're doing about 30 hours of work, including reading documents, going to meetings, meeting with committees, that kind of thing. So that is included. There's also each councillor gets a certain amount of money to attend conferences, um, public relations funds, and I think kind of professional development kind of areas. So they each get a little bit of money for that as well. And it's up to the councillors of whether to not, whether or not they'd like to claim those items. So there is a bit of financial support for the time.